Rebel Force is off today. I'll be showing you the Phantom Force Recon Vest. Uh, this is mine. It's already set up with everything on it. And then Yonix, yeah, he just got his in, so we'll be showing you how to adjust it and the good and bad things about it. Okay, this is the vest itself. There's nothing on it. It comes with two foam imitation plates, which you can remove by taking this Velcro out. Um, if you were to pull this strap, it would fall apart into four pieces. And I will show you how to adjust it in later on in the video. We have our Thunder Bee pouches. It's a radio pouch, but we use it for Thunder Bees. We have smaller radios, so we just use the whatever pouch this is for, for it. It comes with uh, two pistol mag pouches, the admin pouch, two utility pouches, the uh, single stack, or two single stack pouch and four pouches, and then it's the integrated sling that goes in in the back. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to put the sling in it. Uh, it's the built-in sling. It'll, it comes down through the shoulder straps. Um, it distributes the weight very well. So first off, you just want to open up each Velcro. And you can see where the wire comes through for the, the pull thing. Alright, so then you want to just lay them right there and close it back up. come to the back, feed it through this part right here, and then it's, there's a little pocket right there, you want to slide it as far down in there as it will go so you don't have to reach way up in the vest to grab it in a second. What's optional, but does help, is to have a pencil on this next step. But this piece buttons up under there to keep this flap closed. And then you have this flap with a bunch of random tabs, which if you if it's the first time opening up, it will be kind of overwhelming. And I haven't seen a video yet that shows you how to do it. So that's why we decided to make ours. So you want to untie this string right here. Okay, so I went and got a pencil just because it helps a lot. So you don't have to hold it. But this is the wire that holds, which it doesn't open up much. And I have big hands, so it's gonna it's hard already. But uh, the wire tucks in to a little, uh, you can't see it, but it's a little hole back in there. And once you pull that strap I showed you up front, it pulls this wire through. And each one of these flabs, this will be the flab for the right side, or the, this is the flab for the right side. And this is the one. So basically, all this, this is the top part. It would make the shoulder straps fall off. This would make the right side fall off, and this would make the left side. And so if you were to get shot in actual combat, uh, the medic would run up to you, snatch the snatch the handle, the vest would fall off you, and you would be he'd be able to work on you. However, so it was a little tight on Yannick, so we'll make it put it in the third hole, and basically it's just going to be trial and error. So you want to fix it. So right when you put it on. If you wanna, if it's too tight for you, you need to loosen it by undoing all of it, and 
the top part you all want them in the same mold so if you have this one on three you want this one on three so I'll have the top part on three and that's to bring it up or down on your chest and it's kinda hard to you may want a pair of pliers too okay so once you have that through if you want to measure it you just put the pencil into place and it'll hold the rope from going back through so we're going to try the onyx on two and see how that fits them and then we'll go from there okay so before you put the, the uh, sling on you're going to want to make sure your vest fits good so it's fitting him pretty good uh... we just have it on the two and then the three for the height so you want to reach in here up here somewhere and you want to pull down the tabs for the sling so there's one and there's two depending on how high or low you want the sling you're going to want it on it's the same thing for the sides if you want it higher up you're going to want it on uh... the higher numbers if you want it low, you want it on the lowest one, which we're going to put it on the lowest one because if you put it on the highest one, it's really high and gets in your... So now that you have it on the one or wherever you want it, the string's going to naturally be short, like, until the holes line up. So you're going to have to pull the string and move the wires for it to be long enough to fit this laying on, but it's, it gets a lot longer once you do that. And then you just want to put the wire through it. Uh, get put it in the in the hole on the side right there. Let me see if I could. It goes in right there. All right. Then you want to get this string and tie it off, just so it's not as easy to pull it. Just in case you do pull it, which it's not really for that. It's when you're moving, this wire is going to be moving with you, and you just want a little bit of tension on it, just so it doesn't pull out. I'm going to show you how to take out the plates real quick, just in case you want them out. Uh, just do that. Pull the Velcro right there. And then you have your foam plate, which can come all the way out, but I don't want to pull it all the way up. If it's too bulky for you, you can just do that. And then tighten the sides up a little bit more. Or if, it, or if you got, it comes in uh, four sizes, three sizes. And if you got one that was a little bit too small, you can just take the plates out. Okay, this is just how I have mine set up in case you wanted a reference to how you do it. Uh, I have the admin pouch in the middle. You can fit the uh, double wide pistol mag pouch right here. But I figured I'd just put it on the right side. So I put it that on the right side, my Thunder B pouch on the right side. I have the four single stack mag pouches along the front. As you go around, I got the dump pouch on this side. You can put something right there above it. I have an extra mag just in case a backup mag. It's usually a high cap. I run mid caps, but a high cap just in case I need to run support. Back here, I usually keep extra Thunderbee shells. Uh, I run my knife right here. And then I have my comms, which I run through the molly, through the strap right here, and through there. And then it runs right there. And that's the setup for my vest, in case you needed a reference.